Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with TheBlogTree.com. This is a watch winder review. Please remember to subscribe to TheBlogTree.com videos if you find this useful, and thumbs up this video if you like it. This is a six-piece watch winder from Wolf Designs, and this is called the Heritage Model. And this uses the mo module 2.7, and that module refers to these watch winders right here. This whole unit is the 2.7 module. They keep upgrading it, and so this one is the latest one, and it has um, more features than the previous modules. Now, this version, like I said, is for six watches. They have versions for one and three um, and four, I believe, as well. And there's different amounts. Essentially, what you have here is a large, large case, and it closes up here like this. And you can see roughly sort of how thick it is, and there's a little plug sticking out of the back. This version is for plug-in only, meaning it needs to be uh, used with a wall socket. This one does not, is not battery-powered. They do have other models which are battery-powered. And you know, it's interesting. In the watch winder world, there is this big, I don't want to call it a debate, but a lot of discussion about, you know, what's better, uh, battery-powered, plug-in the wall, um, I prefer, you know, plug in the wall because you never have to worry about changing batteries. Some people don't want to have wires everywhere. Um, you know, and it really, really depends on what it is that you are looking for. And so let me explain to you exactly uh, the features of the 2.7 and tell you about this thing. Now, first of all, as you can see, there is a closable cover here. And there is a little bit of a lock here. It comes with this small key. Um, I would not call this a security device. This is not a watch winder safe. This is a watch winder with a, with a latch that closes. If somebody wanted to break into this thing, they could. This is for ease of opening and closing. And you know, think of this as something that closes to um, you know, make it so that it's very, very silent. You can see that you can barely hear anything with it closed. Even, it's not a loud unit at all. It's actually very, very quiet um, in, in comparison to other winders. Um, and it is also to protect from dust and things like that and from people hitting, in it, hitting on it and, uh, you know, d damage to the watches. But this is not what I call a security device. But it's nice that it closes. You can see the watches in there. That's, that's something I really appreciate a lot. As a six watch winder goes, the size is pretty reasonable. You know, watches can weigh a lot sometimes, so you have to have a very sturdy unit in order to uh, make sure that things don't fall, especially when it comes to a single watch winder. This one is, I wouldn't say that the, the Heritage box is heavy, but it is very sturdy, and I like that. I'm not worried about it falling over. I'm not worried about it tipping. I'm not worried if, if it's on a dresser and someone shakes it, things going to fall over. Even with this closed, it is a very sturdy unit, and you're not going to get a lot of uh, movement there. It's not going to fall over. Um, so let's talk about how this thing works. Now each of these modules, while it's connected to the same power source, is essentially separate. You can turn it on and off. You can do sort of whatever you want to it. So I have three watches in here, and as you can see, I'll sort of uh, focus in on this one right here. Now there's a control panel underneath here, and the control panel is very, very cool. You can see these numbers going down, and that actually shows you how many rotations left it has for that day. You basically control it rotations per day and you can control the direction. And I kind of think it's cool that it, it, it kind of counts down like it'll tell you, you know, there's 510 left. So this left knob right here has three settings right here. I'll see if I can get in close enough for you to t check that out. And those three settings are for the rotational direction. So you can rotate it um, either uh, I think that's clockwise, counterclockwise, or in both directions. And then the other side here is for on, off, or delayed start. And delayed start means like you want to start it from 30 minutes from now. So I have this thing on, I can turn it off, and then boom, everything stops. And then I can turn it on again, and I like how the LCD light uh, comes on there and shows you. Sorry if it's a little washed out there. The default is 600 turns per day, and I have it for both directions. Does this watch wind in both directions? I'm not actually even sure. Does it really matter if it's both directions or one direction? Doesn't matter. And you use these two buttons on the side here to control how many turns a day. So you can make it as low as 600. I think what's the, what's the lowest it'll go? Oh, it goes even lower than that. I think 500, no, it goes 450, 400, it's going pretty low. Sorry if you can't really see it there, it's going to get a little bit washed out. It goes pretty low per day, and then it goes up to, I don't know, some crazy amount, thousand. Wow, 12, you go up to 1,200 turns per day. That's a lot <laughs> for a watch. You don't really need that. A nice number that I like to stick at is 900 per turns per day. That's pretty easy. 
That's a good one to say. That's good for most watches. The reason, okay, so you're asking probably, why can I control how many turns a day that it goes? Well, some people are worried about the concept of overwinding their watch. Um, I'm not actually super convinced that you can overwind a watch. I don't know that that can happen. I'm not an expert on that, but I've never heard anyone completely worried about overwinding an automatic watch. Most automatic watches are such that that's not really a, a problem that you're going to have to worry about. Um, you have to worry about overwinding with some older, older watches, especially manually wound ones, um, you know, that, that can happen. Let's talk about how to sort of take these things out. So I just pull this one out right here. Now, you should probably turn off the module before you take it out, but it's not entirely necessary to do that. And this one, this is a big watch. This is stuck in there, and it has this cushion on here, and I'll actually put one on in a second. I'll show you how this works. But this cushion kind of, it, it, you know, it's, it goes in there like a little accordion, and you stick the watch on there, and this whole thing just sort of sticks in the slot um, right there. And it sticks in there, and you'll get like a little satisfying click and it'll get in there. And then you can turn the thing back on um, and it'll start going you know, pretty shortly thereafter. What I like is that no matter how big the strap is, you can squish it in there however you want. That's not gonna basically hinder the movement because it's the whole barrel that moves, which is nice. So it doesn't matter if the strap is really big and the thing's sticking out, it's the whole barrel that moves. You have to worry about it rubbing up or anything like that. And so that's, that's definitely a positive feature. So let's, let's basically you know, put one in from scratch. Because for me, when it comes to a watch winder, it's all about how easy it is to take a watch in and out. So you basically pull this unit out, and here's what it looks like. And as you can tell, you can just kind of squish it up like that. Um, it's a little bit, if for, you know, this is made for a very large watch. Like there are very few watches that will fit around this um, just sort of naturally. This is for, <laughs> this would be a, I don't know, probably for a pretty thick wrist. I mean, that's, I don't know, maybe that's not. Maybe it's for a normal wrist and I have tiny, you know, childlike wrists. But, but the good news is this thing, you know, scrunches in basically all the way. So I'm going to take off the watch that I'm wearing right now and put it on to this cushion. So I'm just going to slip it on around here. And when the good thing is I don't even need to close the clasp on the watch. It already sits on there fine with the clasp being open. So just for example sake, I can do that. And I like that I can do that. So I'm going to stick it in there. Should I have totally... There's a better idea to close it. It wants to be closed. It's actually a very snug fit. In, in, in the sort of like, there we go, that's better. In the scheme of like these cushions, this is a very snug fit and I feel super relaxed about it. So, okay, so I put a watch in here. Now let's say again, I don't know whether or not it is meant for, you know, w w you know, uh, which way that turns for the movement. I, I don't know. So right now by default, I believe it's on uh, counterclockwise. I'm just going to put it at, at rotating both ways. Does it really hurt the movement to turn it both ways? No, it does not. It's good for people who like to tinker with it that know precisely, but you can put section C, uh, setting C on there, which is for both ways, which is going to help you in either direction. So I turn it on. Now if I wanted to, I could also do this delayed start. And with the delayed start, you basically tell it, you know, how long before it starts. Um, Again, that's a very sort of niche operation that some people are going to want to use, not necessarily me. I don't mind if it starts right away. So you put it to on, and then it's going to start uh, functioning in a couple of seconds, and I like that. You know, having this little LCD screen and all that, is it like strictly necessary? No, but I like it. I don't know why. I like it. I like the fact that I can see how many rotations. You know, when you have a high-end watch and, you know, it's like your toy, it's your gadget, you like to know these little things. What's interesting to me is that most people, when they wear automatic watches, they will not fully wind it while they're wearing it. And that makes a watch winder very, very important. So if you have a desk job, for example, and your wrist is going to be relatively stationary for most of the time, you're not really ever going to wind it enough. So pretty much everyone needs a watch winder if you have an automatic watch unless you have like just one or two watches and you wind it yourself and you really just shake your wrist around all the time 
Um, those are really the only instances when you probably don't need one of these. But if you have a growing collection, these are very, very, very useful. And so I think that there's sort of a, a market waiting to be tapped for these because there's only a couple of brands making watch winders. You know, Wolf Designs is one of them and they make a good product. And this is, this is a nice one. And they do a good job in, sure, in terms of making sure that they are reasonably priced. This unit, the Heritage 6 Winder, retails for, I think, $2,700. But like, that's not the price um, online. If you go to Wolf Designs right now, it's about uh, $1,350. And then some of their authorized dealers have it for different prices. So I'd say that this you know, is going to be in the $1,300 to $1,500 range. Um, in terms of the actual retail price. Not necessarily sure. You're going to have to go online and see um, the most current price. In terms of having a multiple automatic watch winder, Wolf, De Wolf Designs makes a good product. This one's nice. Um, I, like this, I like the 2.7 module. I think it's fun. It's cool. It's uh, easy to use. It's relatively silent and it's attractive. This sort of case is cushioned a little bit. Um, I don't know, it's like a leather type of material. I like that it's cushioned. It's not like a hard looking box. It looks like something you could sort of tow it around with you. And if you did want to travel with it, you can just sort of take out the plug in the back. You can just disconnect the plug a little bit and then, you know, take this with you. So if you're traveling with a few watches and you want to take them like this, you can just take the whole thing um, in your giant luggage container and, and go with it. Again, this is the Wolf Designs Heritage 6 Watch Winder with the 2.7 module. You can see the full review at ablogtoread.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Ablog to Read videos on YouTube. Thanks.